A big thank you to everyone who has watched and subscribed as part of our draft coverage over the past week or so. Over a thousand new subscribers. Big welcome to all of you. We do daily videos here on the Cowboys Report. And if you just subscribed, you might not know this. YouTube does not send a notification for every single video that we do. It defaults to personalized notifications. Change that to all, the exact same spot where you subscribed. Click that bell again. Change it to all. That way you get a noti each and every time a Cowboys Report video goes out. Join the noti gang here at Chat Sports. Tom Downey here on the Cowboys Report, and we're talking about Jerry Jones doing the thing again where he allows the Cowboys draft board, alleged draft board, I should say, to be leaked. After round one wrapped up, the Cowboys had their press conference, and Jerry Jones busts out the piece of paper you see that says, hey, this is our big board. We had Tyler Smith number 16 overall. Well, eventually a slightly higher res photo came out. The Athletic was even able to improve the uh, en or enhance it a little bit more. So we think we know the Cowboys' top 34 players in this draft. Let's run through it. Kayvon Thibodeau was number one. That one I felt pretty confident on that one. Evan Neal, two. Aiden Hutchinson, three. So nothing too shocking here early on. Garrett Wilson was four. Sauce Gardner, five. Over Derek Stingley, by the way, at number six. Trayvon Walker, the number one pick. He was number seven. My number one guy, Kyle Hamilton, was number eight. Ika McWanu was number nine. Pretty big gap there between Ekwanu and between... Um, Evan Neal as well. Drake London was number 10. We're going to come back to the rest of the first round grades for the Cowboys. But first, what's your one word reaction to their alleged big board being leaked? I am very curious what you guys have to say here on that stand front. For me, it's classic. This is classic Cowboys to allow their big board to be leaked because they always find a way. It's not the first time this has happened. They've done it in the past, so I want to hear your one-word reaction to the Cowboys big board being leaked. All right, moving on now. Number 11 was Jordan Davis. Charles Cross was number 12. That starts to make sense. London Davis Cross for some of their pre-draft visits. Maybe they thought that guy could slide. Ended up not happening. Lewis Seen was number 13 on that list. Jamison Williams then was number 14. That is the end of the Cowboys' first round grade. Seen was on the board for the Cowboys. They took Tyler Smith, their number 16th overall player, by the way. Chris Olave was then number 15. That's the gap. Smith allegedly was number 16. Seen was still on the board. That tracks with Todd Arch Archer report saying he was in the, in the mix for the Cowboys pick. Devin Lloyd, 17. Daxton Hill, 18. Brees Hall, who was also on the board along with Lloyd and Hill. Those were 18, 19. Kenyon Green, who the Cowboys showed all that pre-draft interest in, he was 20. George Karloftis was 21. Zion Johnson was number 22. Traylon Burks was number 24. We'll keep moving along here to 25 and 35. There's more of that here in a second. I will make note that Kyler Gordon... Uh, was above Trent McDuffie on their board, which, which does track given their interest in length and whatnot. Linderbaum, Tyler Linderbaum was number 25. David Ajabo was 26. Jahan Dotson, who the commanders took, was 27. Jermaine Johnson, Kyer Elam, Arnold Ebiketti, Ebiketti, excuse me, Trent McDuffie, Quay Walker, Devontae Wyatt, Logan Hall as well. That is the top 34. The Athletic couldn't figure out who was beyond that, which I do think is pretty fair. So is that the real Cowboys big board? Because I wouldn't put it past Showman Jerry Jones to have a variation of their board, maybe just one of their scouts' board, and put it out there like, ah, see, we were super high on Tyler Smith. What do you think? Is that the real Cowboys big board? Why for yes and for no? I'm going to make this the pinned comment, by the way, on today's video. So if the ad break comes, head down there. Maybe you buy in the conspiracy theory like I do. While the ad plays, take advantage of it and let me know if you think that's the real Cowboys big board. We'll stick with our draft conversation for the rest of today's show. Mel Kuyper uh, went out and handed out his NFL draft grades, and he did not like the Cowboys draft grade at all, or the Cowboys draft class, I should say, at all. 
this year. He was rather negative with what the Cowboys did. First, a quick run-through of the Cowboys picks in case anyone forgot. Tyler Smith was the round one pick out of Tulsa. Sam Williams in the second. Jalen Tolbert from South Alabama in the third. Teaser. Mel and I disagree with how we felt about those two picks. Jake Ferguson in the fourth. Matt Willetsko in the fifth, who could be your new right tackle, swing tackle there. Deron Bland in the fifth. Damone Clark as well, part of the heavy fifth round picks there. John Ridgway. And the Cowboys also took Devin Harper in the sixth round. So Mel, as we'll get into, was not a fan of this class. And at this point, we've had call it five days more so, to think and reflect on the Cowboys draft class or maybe talk yourself into being a little bit higher on this particular class. Grade it for me. A, B, C, D, or F. How do you feel about what the Cowboys put together this year? You can get in the comment section and let me know. Mel's grade was a C plus, And Mel, that for Mel, who was a full-on coward this year, did not like it. That is 31st of 32 teams. The Cowboys, I guess, won the tiebreaker with the Patriots. Everybody else got a B except for two teams who got an A because Kuiper, uh, the K stands for a misspelling of coward, I guess, today. A C-plus grade. We'll break down what Mel said and give my own thoughts on it, too. Here's what Mel wrote on Tyler Smith. Enter Tyler Smith, a raw but nasty left tackle with intriguing traits and a six foot five. 24 pound frame. Smith needs a lot of work on his technique, but you can see on tape why he went in round one. Could he start at left guard in year one and move to either tackle spot in future years? It's left tackle, Mel. Get it together. That might be the best bet to get him on the field. Plus, with the way the wide receiver board fell, six went before Dallas's pick at number 24. The front office likely didn't have any round one wide out grades left. The Cowboys were picked over from the consensus top guards and receivers, although Linderbaum was there and we know the Cowboys were long gone at receiver in terms of their top grades left I think Mel's eventually finally figured it out that Smith's going to play left guard for this team and I understand the concern over Tyler Smith I've made my piece on this I've, you guys who have been subscribed know my thoughts on it the the technique and penalties are a major problem for Tyler Smith hopefully that gets fixed if it does there's immense upside it's also not a guarantee that it gets fixed. So have you talked yourself into the Tyler Smith, or did you like it from day one? Cowboys have a pretty good track record, after all. One for yes, zero for no. Do you like the Tyler Smith pick by the Cowboys in round one? The Cowboys report will be live after hours this Thursday on Rumble. If you want uncensored, unfiltered, and bonus segments on Rumble, Go follow us over there. Take advantage of doing it today. That way it's easier to get over there for live on Rumble early, or on Thursday as opposed to trying to rush through it all. Rumble.com slash Cowboys TV. I'll put that link in the comments and in the description. Let's move to day two, and this is where Mel and I really start to disagree. Our grades are similar, but I gave a lot of lower ones because I'm not a coward. Mel did not like the day two picks at all. Here's what he wrote. After that, though, the Sam Williams pick left me scratching my head. All he does is rush the passer. He isn't good against the run. I would have taken him on day three. Jalen Tolbert fills a need at wide receiver, but the more I think about it, the more I see some redundancy in what Michael Gallup already brings this offense. I disagree with Mel. He's right that Sam Williams is not great against the run. So was David Ajabo, who Mel loved. And the Cowboys also were quite high on, even with the, the medical issue there based on their own leaked boards we talked about earlier. And I do think there's some similarities in Jalen Tolbert's game and Michael Gallup's game. Is that a bad thing? Like, Sam Williams has the burst and bend off the edge. Yes, he might not be great against the run. You took him at the back end of round two. Like, that's the right range for a guy who isn't a great run stopper. It's a hell of a lot harder to find edges who can rush the passer than who can set the edge against the running game. And I actually like the Tolbert pick a lot. That was actually my highest graded player the Cowboys took. There were slot receiver reps for Tolbert. It's suddenly a bad thing to have another similar player of Michael Gallup, although I will make note Tolbert did test a little bit better than what Gallup did. He's been better each and every single year. He's a good route runner, I think. I thought he was underrated, so I don't really understand the negative context of having another player like Gallup. I can still put CeeDee Lamb in the slot. That's not a bad thing at all. So my answer to this question is Jalen Tolbert, and I want to hear from you guys. Favorite pick 
made by the Dallas Cowboys in this year's draft? Who is it? Sound off in the comments section. I will make note that you're only allowed to get one particular pick. So which pick was your favorite one made by the Cowboys organization in this year's NFL draft? Hit, hit, hit me up in the comments section. Day three picks, and hmm, Mel didn't like those either. Uh, we're reading a lot of what Mel wrote, and you can tell it was pretty negative when it was all said and done. Here was here were Mel's thoughts on day three. Jake Ferguson is just a backup tight end based on what I saw on tape. He went too high. Linebacker Damone Clark might turn into a really good player, but he recently had spinal fusion surgery, so it's really tough to use a fifth-round pick on an unknown injury. Is it, though? It's a, it's a fifth-round pick. Like, I had a sixth on him, but... That's it's 176 overall. Like, come on, Mel. He summed it up with this. I think it's it's that this class just has too many unknowns. We don't know if Smith can definitively be a good guard or that Williams can definitively be an every or def definitely be an every down player. Tolbert has good hands, but is still raw. This is a risky group. I do think it's a risky group. I think there's a lot of upside picks. I am much higher on Sam Williams and Tolbert there. I do not think the Cowboys had the second worst draft this year. I don't, I'm not over the moon with it, but I think Mel was also a bit of a coward, coward with his grades to a certain extent. So what do you think about Mel Kuyper and his draft grades for the Cowboys? Is he a hater or is he a truther? Type H for Mel was a full-fledged hater with his draft grades. Yeah, br br bring it up here, Chase. Bring it up here real quick. We'll do it at the very end. Or type T for Truther, get those votes in for me in the comments section. There we go. I got Mel on, on, on screen with me here. There we go. Look at that. Right here. Here's Mel Kuyper for you guys on today's show. He was, he was a coward, a, a clownly coward in the end. He wrote like zero positive things. Even I had positive thoughts on the Cowboys draft class this year. All, we went through all of his quotes. How was that a C-plus grade? Mel's acting like it was a D and one of, if not the worst, draft classes this year by the Cowboys. I, I have my thoughts on Tyra Smith pick, but I'm very pleased with what they did on day two, and I liked most of their day three selections. So even someone who didn't love the Cowboys draft class this year doesn't think it's quite that bad in the end.